Welcome to 401 Spotlight, where we will be going over 401's new film, The Hunter's Odds. We have a few questions we'd like to ask you about your film here. Like, uh, for one, uh, what was the inspiration for your film? Yeah, so the inspiration behind my film mainly came from uh, the previous semester's uh, 401 film, Earl's World. I like that uh, supernatural aspect, and so I kind of wanted to explore that with this one. Um, my first idea was uh, kind of to use gnomes, um, but I thought that, that would be too comical, and I didn't really want to figure out the logistics of like puppetry. Um, so then I went back to uh, my heritage, uh, in, like Slavic mythology, and I found the Leshy and thought that um, it was a very interesting and unique uh, character to write about. Interesting. That's awesome. What message would you like your audience to learn from your film? Uh, pretty much, I would like them to learn if they like what they see, it takes hard work and dedication. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much it. How about you? Um, I would like them to learn perhaps, I don't know, be aware of your surroundings and there's lots of creatures in the forest, so beware. Uh, what were some of the thought processes you guys had while casting? Yeah, well, well uh, while casting, um, it was kind of just uh, seeing like who I like and envision the character as essentially. Um, and so uh, seeing all the auditions, Jordan really had the personality already of Ander kind of. Um, and so I, I really liked that, uh, his performance and um, just his like off uh, camera experience too was very uh, beneficial. And then Kylon, um, he also auditioned too and uh, he was just, he had the uh, perfect like stature and silhouette for the Leshy. We needed that um, intimidating like aura and he really brought that. And since you are an actor in the film, uh, did you think of yourself at all while writing the script or what happened to uh, it? Not while writing. Uh, Tony was originally supposed to be a boy. And then um, when I found out that I could be in it, I just changed one letter <laughs> <laughs> and um, made him a girl. <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> Well, sweet. That? That's awesome. Can you discuss some of the challenges you faced while making this film? Uh, our challenges probably was like, well, it wasn't a probably. Our challenges were communication. At first, you know, we had to find out a chemistry for each other. Mm -hmm. And then we started communicating very well after that. But our biggest challenge was power like the generator. Like it just kept going out. Like we had the gas, the oil. It just kept going out. If it wasn't for Tyron climbing poles and putting stingers in light poles, we probably wouldn't even be able to make a deadline. How about you? That and um, I would say like uh, the location that we chose, uh, there was a curfew and we were also shooting at night. So that was a big challenge just with scheduling and having everyone available to, to be out like late hours. Um, and so, yeah, t uh, timing at the location, what he said with the communication is a big one, too, and power. Um, and then the sun started setting later, so we got even less time at our spot. But, but yeah, the, it worked <laughs> there, out. yeah, there were some challenges. Well, you guys made it, so. Oh, yeah. How did you guys decide on the visual aesthetic of the film? Yeah, so the visual aesthetic, I really wanted, um, like, a lot of earth tones, and I really wanted those, like, greens to pop. Um, and so that, that would say like visually is what my, my goal was. Plus having um, to be able to like have those scares and like those kind of like jumpy moments. Um, I, and we, we utilized the fog machine a lot, which I really liked. Um, oh, I, right. wanted to, I wanted to use fog in the film a lot more than we did, but with power and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, we, we only got like a couple shots, but they were beautiful, I think. Yeah, what about were. you, Mike, since you're the cinematographer? Um, yeah. Aesthetics, I mean, I pretty much was following Aniston Lee. She pretty much had the whole game playing how she wanted it. Like, she came right with the characters, the colors, the palette, the looks. Like, she already had all that planned. I just pretty much had to get the most beautiful shot. Well, interesting. Awesome. And is there anything that you would do differently? Um, if there was something I would do differently, I'd get a better generator. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. How about you, Anderson? I would, I would definitely try to have more confidence um, in myself and my team. Uh, trust was something that I, I feel like we also had a, a little bit of a challenge with. 
um, just I'm not good at trusting people. <laughs> and so <laughs> it was it was hard to um, figure that out. But we once we got it, it was it was magical, maybe magic. It's awesome. Well, what were some of the tactics you guys used in editing to help aid with the tone of the movie? Um, when it come to editing, only thing I edit was the trailer, pretty much. Um, I just really just took every like scary part and added like text and stuff to it, and just added effects to make it shake. But when it come to editing the movie, uh, Tyron Jones actually edited the movie, and he did all the special effects and stuff like that. So I can't really tell you his game plan, but um Well the trailer was impressive. I um I did watch him edit some and like he he pretty good. He, he's actually pretty good for yeah, sure. Yeah, Tyron awesome brought guy. it because we had done some test shoots too, um, to make sure that yeah, he knew what he was doing, he could figure out what to do and he killed it. Well, what is something you would like to tell your future viewers? Um, I would like to tell them thanks for watching. Um, thanks for coming out and seeing it. Um I hope you like it too. I hope people get scared. Um, I hope it's entertaining. Um, and yeah, that's what that's I bet it will be. How about you? I just like to say, man, I hope you enjoy my first short film as the DP, director of photography. And yeah, man, hard work pays off. Well, congratulations. Well, I know I, for one, am very excited to see your new film. Uh, well, that's our director and DP on the 401 film, The Hunter's Odds. Now onto this week's future vibe.